Did you know uh, Tesla, Elon, and all of his companies depend on government subsidies? Do they? I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. So I went on Twitter and asked my followers, what lies and misconceptions are you sick of hearing about at Elon Musk, Tesla, and all the connected companies? And Michael L.B. graciously responded that they're that they depend too much on government subsidies. Roll eyes times three, and I agree with the roll eyes times three because it's a little silly, and we'll get into that. Quick thanks to new and upgrading patrons Robert, Samuel, Chandra Das, MPAT76, and Raymond. Thank you guys for your decision to support the channel. Did you know that, according to Ralph Nader, Elon is a giant corporate welfare king. Musk at Elon Musk started Tesla with a huge U.S. government welfare grant. He's taken taxpayers to the cleaners for his factories and for Starlink. He is a giant corporate welfare king masquerading as a capitalist businessman. Signed, Ralph Nader. Because, you know, uh, apparently when you're 88, signing a tweet is a thing you do. Is it true? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Uh, Starlink uh, was privately funded from the get-go. They used their own money on that. A lot of people were unsure if it would work. The only thing they got from the government early on was approval to launch the satellites. But let's skip on that. Elon went ahead and responded, Ralph, you are lying. Shame on you. I personally provided almost all Tesla funding based on my proceeds from PayPal from Series A in 2004 until Series C in 2007. In late 2008, I gave Tesla the last money I had. It was that or the company would have died. We closed the funding round at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve. If I had not done that, Tesla would have gone bankrupt two days after Christmas. I gave my last money thinking Tesla would probably still die. Not thinking that it would be lucrative. A welfare grant? Well, in 2010, Tesla received a $465 million loan from the U.S. Department of Energy. This was a contentious program. Solyndra was part of it. They went broke. Fisker was part of it. They went broke. A lot of money did not get paid back. But it's still a loan, not a grant. Ralph Nader knows the difference. We cannot blame his age. I believe he is of sound mind. However a little twisted mind, the loan was awarded to produce specially designed all-electric plug-in vehicles and to develop a manufacturing facility in Fremont to produce battery packs, motors, and powertrain components for all-electric vehicles. Tesla repaid the loan almost 10 years early. They repaid it with interest and a prepayment penalty 10 years early. So let's look a little further here. This isn't the first time Nader's taken on Musk. FSD is his big complaint. I'm calling on federal regulators to shut it all down. But the question is whether Nader was only talking about this loan or whether he was referring to the $7,500 federal tax credit given to consumers buying an electric vehicle. You know, there were only two companies that exhausted their pool of $7,500 credits, Tesla and General Motors. Is General Motors a welfare queen? Is Tesla a welfare queen? Because they didn't get this money, we did. It's not having the impact that Ralph Nader is suggesting. And yeah, it was repaid early, with interest, by selling more stock to raise more money. Apparently, they uh, didn't want to be under that thumb anymore. But that's not the only tax money there is. Surely there's other things we're talking about here. Houston Chronicle reports tax break program to cost Texas a billion a year by 2022, and Tesla will soon be the beneficiary. Oh, if I was a taxpayer in Texas, I'd be livid. Giving a billionaire a billion dollars? That's what this article says, right? It'd be easy to be outraged if you didn't read past the headline. Made a splashy announcement they would build a billion dollar factory in Texas, once in a generation opportunity, expected to create 5,000 jobs, strengthen the position of the t state in terms of manufacturing and industry, but Texas will pay a hefty price for these gains. Under this provision, Tesla, <laughs> yeah, taxpayers will pay millions of dollars annually over the next 10 years to Tesla, which has a market value of more than $200 billion. a little out of date, my fault, not theirs. As a result of the program, the state will send an extra $1.6 billion in tax credits over the next two years to large companies such as Tesla. Oh, furious. I'd be livid. 
So let's find out how much it actually is. Tesla received 60 million in local incentives and 46 million over 10 years. So that's a hundred million dollars. That's, that's not that much. In 2020 alone, Texas will pay out $752 million to fund tax grants, but not to Tesla. This is for everybody. This is for all the companies combined. In Tesla's case, $14 million property abatement over 10 years. That's $1.4 million a year. And uh, Del Valley School District's $46 million tax break. Hmm. So that's not that much money after all. Why are we upset about that? Do you know that uh, Tesla was up for $375 million uh, facility, which was going to get a tax abatement, and they withdrew their request. They dropped its pursuit of the Section 312 tax abatement. They said it's no longer necessary for its battery refinement facility near Robstown, near Corpus Christi. So not only are they not getting that much money, but they're not even taking all the money that they're kind of entitled to. Their growth is good. Their value is good. Uh, I guess they don't need it. But let's talk about that $100 million over 10 years. $100 million is still serious money. Well, that's $10 million a year. What does Texas get out of it? Well, they get a factory. They get a multi-billion dollar. $1.1 billion was the original price tag for phase one of the factory, but after the $5 billion in issues of new stock in 2019, 2020, they were able to do all three phases at once. That factory in Texas is not going to be a $1.1 billion factory. It'll be closer to $4 billion. But let's just look at the $1.1 billion capital investment that will bring at least 5,000 new jobs to Travis County. You look at that factory and you tell me that it's possible for that thing to run with only 5,000 employees. It's probably got 5,000 now and it's just getting started. We counted cars at one point just to look at the construction workers and those were good paying jobs. They are bringing billions of dollars in investments, billions of dollars in new spending. You know, most of the cost of the factory is labor for the construction at least. Of that billion, two billion, four billion, easily half of it is wages. It's amazing to think how crazy this complaint is. There was a guy who ran for Austin, no, Travis County Commissioner. Yeah, Bob for Commish, whose big thing was, why are we giving millions to a billionaire out of your tax dollars? And the answer is, because it makes sense. Because it's a net gain. Because we're going to pull a profit on this, Bob. Poor guy didn't stand a chance once facts and reason came into the picture. So is Elon a welfare queen? No. No, of course not. The subsidies may exist, but they exist for everyone. The tax breaks exist, but they exist for all companies. These are not unique to Tesla. They are not unique to Elon. And these are designed to encourage companies to come here. Without those small incentives, it is entirely possible Tesla would have chosen a different location for their new factory, for their headquarters. They're now headquartered in Texas. So that's kind of a big deal. That's kind of a big win. That is exactly what the incentives were designed for. Subsidies. Come on, man. It's crazy. It's crazy to think how dishonest these people are. So thanks, as always, to my Patreons who get early access bonus content and ad-free experience and help support the channel. Thank you guys so much. It helps me avoid chasing the algorithm. This month alone, YouTube paid only 22% of my income because YouTube is terrible. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.